So volatility breakouts, this was the basis of the, of the turtles using doctrine and bands for volatility breakouts, um, which leads to a trend following approach and um, pattern recognition is another really important piece. M tops and W bottoms. Um, mean reversion ideas, oversold detection, reversals at the bands, these are all classic ideas for trading bands. Volatility breakouts, the, this was the second approach to trading bands that, that I learned. Um, for Bollinger Bands, when you have a 125 period low in the bandwidth, we call this a squeeze. When we have a 125 period high in the bandwidth, we call this a bulge. A squeeze is where trends are born, and a bulge is where trends go to die. So trend following um, with bands, walk up the upper band, walk down the lower band. We've seen you know, multiple examples over, of that over the past couple of years. The biggest mistake people make with trading bands, Bollinger Bands and all the rest of it, is to say a tag of the upper band is a sell and a tag of the lower band is a buy. Nothing could be further from the truth. You have to bring much more to the game than just a tag of the band, right? Because you can walk up the trading band for months Right? in a really strong trending market. Walk down the lower band for, for months. Pattern recognition, M and Ws. I define a W bottom as a low made outside of the lower band, followed by a low made inside the lower band. You find once you start looking for that, you'll start seeing those patterns again and again and again, and they're al almost always important reversal patterns. Um, if you want you know, study M and W patterns, Art Merrow wrote the book on this. Um, and, you know, he's terrific. The future part three, the closes becoming mood, 24-hour trading. I keep coming back to this because I think it's so important.